Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. In the last episode we uh, started Jolly Rogers Lagoon. And I missed so much stuff. I missed the doubloon over here and I missed some more doubloons. I missed notes. And the worst thing about those notes is that I didn't even see them until someone pointed it out in the comments. I was like, dude, how did I miss that? This is crazy. Uh, I think I actually missed some more doubloons. I'm not too sure. It doesn't re ma really matter because we only need five more, but... I'm OCD like that, I have to get all the doubloons. Anyway, uh, the notes I missed are in here, so... Might as well get those now. Oh, actually, I know where the other doubloons are, never mind. They're right on top of there, and I don't know how I missed those. Like, I skipped past them like a hundred times in the video, and I'm like, oh my god, can you be... Can you be any more stupid? That, that's how stupid I was, I can't even talk. <laughs> anyway, enough about that. Um, I guess I was kind of distracted by my commentary, as usual, but... Oh well. So, what is today? Today is March 25th. Uh, this is actually the first day I've been recording in a while. Because I've been busy and... I haven't really been feeling well, so what am I doing over here? I'm supposed to be uh, heading towards that other Shinjo that I missed. Yeah, it feels good to be back to recording. I've missed this. I uh, I usually have a lot of fun recording. Why am I getting lost? Dude, where am I? This is where I'm supposed to go. Hello. I'm getting distracted again. It's fun to uh, record again. But uh, yeah, anyway... Uh, yesterday I went back to Ocarina of Time for the first... Like, for the first time uh, after LPing it, I touched the game again. And man, that is... I, I can't believe how rusty I am on that game. Wow, a blue Jinjo! I like the blue ones. I like, I like how my attention span is like... Ugh. Also something else that I had in mind, I've been playing a lot of Majora's Mask lately, even after DLP, and I've considered doing, like, a six day run, I've seen people do it, and that stuff is hard, but I, I kinda wanna try it. I mean, I love Majora's Mask, and I'm kinda fami familiar with the game now, especially after my LP. I'm really familiar with the dungeons now, so maybe I should be able to do it. If I do it, I probably won't record it, and if I do record it, I'm gonna post it on Screw Attack. Because I want to do something with that account, and well, I don't know. It seems like something I really want to do, because I love Majora's Mask, and doing a six day run sounds awesome. Uh, anyway, enough about Majora's Mask, where uh, Mumbo's uh, skull reading the exact same dialogue again. Come on. Yeah, we need Mumbo's help, because uh, we're gonna have to explore the uh, underwater areas. And even though we do have the extra bubbles, and this is actually the, the only world where you would need them, but we can actually do something with the water to make it infinitely breathable, and... Also, you can actually blow that up with a grenade egg, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I suppose I could do it. That's actually what that sign meant in the last episode. You're supposed to blast that and that's how you get to the beach. With the whole skull beach thing. But yeah, we can actually do something with this water and uh, Mambo will help us out here. That's the only thing he does in this world. Oh, this works. Sunlight, we are going to uh, oxygenate the water. I don't know how that works. I'm not gonna question, well, rare logic in this case. <laughs> but for some reason, Momo can make the water infinitely breathable. Which is gonna help us out tremendously down there, believe me. Momo shine big light on water. And now has plenty of oxygen. Baron Bird not need to hold breath in there now. So there's actually one more thing I need to do, 
Um, I picked up all of the stuff I missed now, but there's something else uh, above the water in the town here that I probably should pick up before we go. Remember in the last episode we bought that uh, Jiggy for 20 doubloons. You can actually go back in there and the guy will sell you a Cheeto page for 5 doubloons. So I suggest we go do that. I think we have 8 doubloons, so that should be more than enough. And those last three doubloons, we won't be doing anything with them. So I guess you're... There's that much mercy. You can miss some doubloons. Even though I... They're not really that hard to find, even though I missed one. Um... Wait, where am I? I keep getting lost. I don't know why, because this place is not that hard to figure out. I mean, if I'm getting lost in here... I don't even want to imagine how I'm going to do on the other on the underwater part because that's kind of confusing too sometimes. Oh, I guess we have four spare doubloons. Okay. How much for the worthless old page? Apart from worthless, my friend, was I was told that a page comes from the legendary Cheetah book. Are you sure? Oh yes, I'm afraid I won't take less than five doubloons for it. I don't get quality like that in here every day. So I see. So we can talk to him again. Welcome back, the page is still available if you want it. I'm sure it will still be here next year. <laughs> we'll still be five doubloons. Oh, nice one. Do I have a sale? What do you say? I? Right, friend, let's see some gold. Pleasure doing business. Please help yourselves. And that thing's gonna hit him in the stomach again. Like last time. And we get our Cheeto page. So that's a first. Uh, we won't be able to get the third Cheeto page until we get a move from World 7, I believe. Uh, same move we need for that Jinjo that I... Uh... No, I forgot to... I was said I was gonna blast out that thing in Mumbo Skull, but I really don't feel like going back for it now. Especially since I can't do anything there now. So what we are going to do is we are going to uh, go to the underwater area, probably the most hated area in the entire game. Uh, wow, what is this? Looks like we have a flying saucer down here with a Kazooie face on it. That's weird. As you can see, there's uh, the treble cleft is in here. Whoa, wasn't paying attention. And another note over there. So now we can use that uh, underwater aiming. We do not need to use grenade axe in here. We are going to need a lot of grenade axe in here uh, later, so... That's why I wanted to get the uh, egg upgrade, so don't waste them. Because you are going to need them. Can you hit that? Oh my god. And then we still have the treble left. Uh, dude, I saw it a minute ago. Where is it? <laughs> yeah, you have to be fast, because those things will come... They, they will regain consciousness, I should say. Dude, was that not a treble cleft? I'm pretty sure that's how you get the treble cleft in this world, but that might actually be a different room. can't remember now. Oh well, we'll worry, we'll worry about it later. If I'm swimming right past it now, I'm gonna feel really stupid. And I'm probably like, heading the wrong way uh, as well. I think I am. Yep, we are not supposed to be here. We're supposed to go the other way first. That's a smuggler's cavern. That's where you end up if you go through that uh, hole we blasted in Jolly's uh, storage room. But you'll get to the uh, um, to the higher up area where a Jiggy is if you can reach it, which we cannot right now. Dude, I swear that trouble cleft is in here somewhere. Pretty sure there are more of these things throughout the world, though, so we should be able to to get that trouble cleft. And this fast swimming is just amazing right now. So we have these uh, octopi right here. Let's swim a little closer. You can freeze them with ice axe. I haven't really been using these things, but except for this world, you don't really use them that often. Except for one other thing in World Seven. But stop hitting that thing. You will take damage if he's not frozen, so... 
But just because I was frozen, he didn't do damage when I swam into him. This is where I wanted to go. This is Atlantis. Probably the coolest looking area in this entire world, in my opinion. There's actually an empty honeycomb in here somewhere, if I can find it. There's also some notes that over there and a warp. Treble cleft it. Yeah, I saw it back there. It's in that hole you may have seen to the right. No, I don't want to warp. I'm trying to swim, if you don't mind. There's the empty honeycomb. That's, that's free. I think we need seven for the next upgrade. There's the treble cleft I was thinking of. See, I told you it wasn't one of those things. Just forgot it wasn't this area. I don't know far away. That doesn't really matter too much. We should have close to all of the nodes in this world already, I think. Let's make sure we didn't miss any nodes. There's these, uh, these clear fish in here. As you can see, this one just has eggs. We can't really, like, get to those. As for right now, there's actually something we have to do in there. I'll take care of that in a second. I'm gonna check out these other buildings first. We're kind of running low on time already, which is kind of too bad. Yeah, this is where I wanted to go. This is where another move is. That's really all that's here. But it is a really important move, actually. Well, you use it a lot in this world, and after that, you use it sometimes. But it's still a cool move. I really like it. Talon Torpedo. Sea launcher Burgess, watch her go through the water like a torpedo. Control stick to steer and A for speed, B to cancel if it's banjo you need. Wow, I really messed that one up. Oh well. <laughs> and he hits his head again. I think that's like the third time that's happened in this LP. When I actually practiced this game, that didn't he didn't do that at all. And that's like the third time in the LP that he did that. I can't get over how awesome that is. <laughs> Oh my. So, uh... Let's see if there's another clear fish in here, because I know one of those clear fish has a Chiggy, and I believe another one has a... has an empty honeycomb, so... I believe this is the one with the eggs, though, and I can't remember... where... The one with the jiggy is. I know there are there are some other areas, and the way they're connected is kind of weird. Over here we have the seaweed sanctum, and this is not the place I'm thinking of. No, actually the unreachable Cheeto page is in uh, one of these rooms. Or actually a room that looks like this. I think all that's in here is a Jinjo. Whoa! <laughs> Did not mean to do that, but still awesome. I think we'll get that Jinjo and then pfft, end off the video. If I can if I can ever get up there. There we go. I'm not sure if I'll be whoa, if I'll be posting Wind Waker this weekend because uh, I have a bunch of school stuff that I need to do. Like uh, I don't know. I might be busy this entire weekend, so I don't know if there's gonna be Wind Waker. I sure hope I'll be- No! Oh... I really don't want to go up there again. Especially because I'm up to 14 minutes already. Dude! Are we gonna be able to do this today? It would be awesome if we can. Because we are not screwing up simple jumps. Excuse me. I should probably stop being careless and just hit, hit those things if I can. As you can see, some of them are just regular seaweed, but some of them are like the enemies that come to life. It's, they're really creepy. They're not creepy. Yeah, they're just weird. That's what I'm trying to say. I hear you, Jinjo. And you're an actual Jinjo, so... Uh, that's like the third time you've hit me. Screw you. And we have another entrance over there, I forgot about that. But I kinda wanna get to that Jinjo, there he is. It's a black one. Jinjo! 
And with that, I am going to end off this video. Thanks for watching, everybody. And in the next episode, we'll continue Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Hope to see you then.